exists everywhere and can affect anybody. It is an infectious airborne disease caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis. Most often it affects lungs. It can also affect spine, joints, lymph nodes and brain. Do you know that in 2015 over 10 million people developed TB worldwide? In India alone, about 36 lakh cases were diagnosed and around 4 lakh 80,000 people have died because of TB. So who gets tuberculosis and what are the symptoms of tuberculosis? Now people who have had a loss of weight, loss of appetite, malnourishment, fever, sweating at night, chills and people who have a cough that is not going away for more than two weeks who are producing a lot of phlegm are someone who should consider that they may be evaluated for tuberculosis especially in a country like India where it is so common. What are the risk factors for getting tuberculosis? Anybody who has diabetes is definitely at risk of TB. It's also important that if someone has HIV disease, that they be tested for TB because the treatment of both is critical for life saving in these patients. It is also important to recognize that people who have low immunity, people on steroids, people on special medicines for organ transplants, or who have received medicines to treat rheumatoid arthritis are also at risk. Occupational diseases like silicosis, as well as people who smoke are especially at risk for tuberculosis and should be evaluated urgently if they have any symptoms which we mentioned earlier. When it comes to the diagnosis of TB, WHO has banned all blood tests. The only sample that can be tested is sputum if it is lung TB or tissue from whichever part of the body that's being affected. This sample can be tested for AFB smear, gene expert and AFB culture. Treatment for tuberculosis involves taking a minimum of four medications for a minimum of six months. If this treatment is not adhered to, then there's a risk of development of drug resistance. If there is drug resistance, then the treatment is prolonged to up to two years with multiple medications including injections. This is a very complicated treatment associated with more side effects. So it is advisable to take the medications properly in the first place so as to prevent development of drug resistance. TB is preventable and can be treated at a very low cost. It is not only important that we build the capacity to detect the cases and treat them, but prevention of transmission is fundamental. If you are affected, how can we prevent the transmission? Cover your nose and mouth while you are sneezing and coughing. Maintain hygienic environment. Eat nutritious food. Do not go into overcrowded areas. Most important, get your family members tested. Let us all unite to end TB. Leave no one behind.